How's it going, boys? Today on Standard, we're going to be testing Mono Vite Live Game. We're going to be checking out to see how good it is currently in Standard. How much did new Capenna and all the new live game cards that it added help the format out? Yes, that means that we're going to be testing exactly the 0.5 cards that they added for live game in this format. And boys, it's going to be amazing. So, what's your opinion? Is Halo, uh, Halo Fountain gonna save live gain because that's honestly the only real card they added for live gain, or is live gain absolutely done? Leave your opinions in the comments. I'm gonna bet my money on. Uh, well, if live gain, live gain's never gonna be done in Magic. Live gain is one of the most stablest things in the universe. That's how Magic started with mono white color, and that's how it's gonna continue. And with that being said, this is the deck. We're going to be using Lunark Veterans and uh, Traveling Min Minsters. Traveling Minsters are amazing because, well, that's just free tokens to untap with the Hollowed Fountain. Works like a charm. Aka, that's a pretty solid live game engine. Admittedly, it's the only real card you can untap with the Halo Fountain, so there are some problems with that, but everything else is pretty good. You have the Cleric class, and the combo is solid. We're gonna be using Lunar Casperance, Voices of the Blessed, and a little bit of control with Skycleave Apparition. And everything else is standard. Admittedly, we are using Book of Exalted Deeds. Why? Because a wife who take no prisoners. Admittedly, if she took, I wouldn't mind it one bit. She could, she could torture me for information any time of the day. <sighs> But with that being said, 22 lands to be specific, and boys, 24 creatures, 2.3 average, pretty decent. Cigar the Splendor as always to win against any control deck, because this card is just gonna stomp. And with that being said, boys, take a second, like the video, maybe leave a comment if you're interested in something. I may answer your questions there, who knows, lucky guesses. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just uh, get a cracking and see what happens. I don't even know what I can say about these hands at this point. I knew that the last game's uh, hand was absolutely sus because it was just too good to be true. This one's not good. Not good at all, in fact. So, this could actually work out. Aluminar Veteran f f go, go Turn 1 is always cool anyway, so... Oh, uh, that's white aggro. Yeah, that's that's literally just uh, that's that literally smells like a white weenie aggro. Okay, not good, but not horrific on one hand. He did nothing. Well, I'm doing also nothing. Uh, and if it, well, I don't know if he wait is he? He could be non land screwed. Huh. Interesting. Because, oh, no, he didn't miss a third draw. Oh, look at that! That's literally the best card that he could have played on three, because it's a white weenie deck. Oh, boy. Okay, you, 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 you gotta love it, what can I say? I'm gonna keep on buffing that one, because at least we can block for now. Uh, if I get an... If I get Book of Exalted Deeds, it actually could be good, because any singular drop it- Okay, he got- Wizards! Hey, at least the Elite Spellbinder can't really hurt us. Only emotional scars. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Okay, what the hell is this? We're, we're land stuff. Previously land flooded, now land screwed. This is how Wizards creates the optical illusion of- yeah, I'm gonna do this sooner rather than later, probably. This is how Wizards creates the optical illusion of not being land screwed in big, uh, big chunks of data. One game you have a, you know, 50, 60, 70% land drop. Why did I put... Ah, it doesn't even matter at this point now, does it? I want... In one game, you're absolutely land flooded. In the, uh, in the other one, you're absolutely land screwed. Are you kidding me? He got voice of the blessed before me. He has zero life gain in this sh- <laughs> Dude, stop! Why? Why- Why am I getting the equivalent of a free loss? 
Oh, look at that. Admittedly, we can still, we, we can still uh, manage to change it. But it's gonna be a toughie. It's gonna be a toughie one hundo. No attacks. At least I can prevent some. We got the book out, so maybe there's still a shot. We do have Sky Cleave. And he just... This is the worst shit tier deck I have ever seen in my life. I just want to point that out. This is literally a shit tier deck. Holy moly. It has this, it has no real life gain, it has elite spellbinders, it just has a bunch of random gunk in it. And this guy has a huge uh, potency of winning. How, 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 how is this, I'm sorry, how is this legal, wizards? Because this guy, please drop a second, uh, please drop a second. Okay, that's also good enough, I guess. Oh, what can I do? I can't do anything. I can't mentally block for that one, so that's kind of good. Still, he has Cave of the Frost Dragon. Admittedly, I no, there is a small chance. There is a sm yeah, yeah. Th I actually, you know what? This could be enough, maybe. Not even sure at this point, but hey, it it's gonna be close, boys. It's actually gonna be close. Yeah, instantaneously buff that. And the good part is we actually flip it. Okay. How much is le- Oh, okay, I guess not a lot. Do you think he's gonna attack? Because it's actually worth, uh, worthwhile for him to attack. These don't have vigilance. That's like a huge minus. If I draw a land- Okay, now we're actually playing some kind of messed up alternate reality. Is this really a game game? Didn't expect it. Actually got the land. And there's definitely nothing else to do, but... Sack it for now. Um... Buff that. Buff that. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what I buff. So, the question now becomes... Is it worth just attacking with this? Or is it worth waiting? I think attacking with one is probably worth it. I want to see his reaction because he needs double block against this. And we know that he wants to keep his HP pull high. Okay, so attacking with one was not a bad choice. If we get our hollowed fountain, we win. If we get almost honestly, you know, we, we get almost anything we win here. He currently has my land draw ratio. Actually I have a better one than him, but slightly. Okay. Wizards I by the way take this uh but uh, wait, I can't act no wait, I can lose because of borrowed time. Yeah, I can't actually lose because of borrowed time. Okay, well, I guess that's a thing if I can lose because of borrowed time. So, I can just attack. And because I can just keep on buffing these... These nuts, it should be fine, right? We're not gaining one more angel here? Wait, actually, this is a full-on... He needs to respond to this. No, 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 no. We still just need to attack with one. We... He can block... Be, no, actually he can't. Okay, yeah, unless he pulls a miracle out, we're gonna win. Yeah, that's 100%. Unless he pulls a miracle out, we're winning. Also, how... How did I actually get that? <laughs> How did I get an angel? Did I drop a creature? Oh, 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 that's bad. That's suddenly bad. But the good part is, who cares? Bad or worse, I win. Well, I don't win-win, but close. I'm gonna attack with these three, and all of them are gonna... Hello there. That's actually what I wanted. Okay, boys. Wizards just gave us a... Uh, naughty... Actually, this was a free win. 
it seemed really hard, but in reality, this guy... I, as I said, he has the worst white deck I have ever seen in my life. And that's not over-exaggeration, okay? That's, like, actually true. This, this deck is moronical and nonsensical. It's not a life gain deck, it has no synergy with that. It's not a white weenie deck, it has no synergy with that also. This is just a bunch of white, uh, white cards smashed together in the hopes that it's somehow magically gonna work out. So, wait. I can't actually... Did I screw up? Oh my god, wait, did I? Or did I not? I guess we can wait until the next turn. Wait, I can still attack with one of these. Okay. Did I screw up? Two? I think I screwed up, possibly. I'm not sure. That's also... St oh. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, it doesn't make a difference because, you know, this is gonna get flying. Oh! Okay! It is what it is, but this is flying and it has vigilance, so it's honestly not even that mattersome. I can still top deck better things in life. Also, three Luminar Casperants versus, uh, versus one. It, it, it is definitely a thing. What a game! Yeah, this is just the st Ooh. Well, that's the stalemate, honestly, gone. Kind of was expected. Kind of was expected. Okay, now he has nothing left, though, right? Yeah, I think he has nothing left. That that has vigilance. He can't get rid of it, no matter what what the circumstances. Yeah, th th this should be fine. I can't actually make that invulnerable if I like. I think. Well, maybe not. I'm not not a hundred percent sure. But close enough, close enough. He actually got a lot of life there for that play. Disgusting. Okay, it is what it is, but we do have life gain, so that's kind of all that matters at the end of the day. He can't do anything because I have Voice of the Blessed. Voice of the Blessed is, well, blessed, so it's a really good cut. You know, logic. It's in the name. And he just scoops. Amazing. Would you look at this hand? What do you think, boys? This is a keeper, I will say. Book of Exalted Deeds plus two Sigardas going first. This could easily be the absolute dream upon dreams. You know, we're, we're gonna have to see, but it, it should be fine, right? And yes, dropping Luminous Aspirant is usually better and smarter. But this looks like something to me that could have potentially bounce back. So, you know. Uh, gonna gonna play it a little bit differently, but anyway, you know what? I think it's fine Also, man, life gain has been a staple of magic for pretty much ever, huh? and man In two years wizards just decided to completely cut it off Every expansion used to be like there's two or three support cards, direct support cards, by the way, I mean, for live game formats. Well, live game style of decks. And now it's just. Did you just use Polar Word Kill on me? Bot on Fence. You're. You, you, wow. Qu qu questionable, to say the least. But we should be fine, because again, two cigar Splendors. If he doesn't do a Miracle now, which he, by the way, could do with Coma? I think Coma is an actual legit option here. Well, who knows, right? Who knows? Maybe. Oh, look at this. Well, also, uh, the, the draw got a lot weaker for life gain decks for some reason. Oh, he does have a Counterspell. In that case, I guess I can just sack one angel. It doesn't matter too much, right? I'm, I'm, I'm creating an angel from the Book of Exalted Boys anyway, so it should be fine, right? Plus drawing two cards, most likely. Oh, this is good. Infernal Grasp now! Wow! How? Wh why, honestly? 
Well, I guess I shouldn't complain too much. It's not really that bad. Overward kill infernal grad, though. Questionable. Well, whatever. But yeah, we no longer see any cards that really help life gain. Hollowed Fountain is not even a life gain card. It's kind of a ramp tap kind of thing. Which is pretty good, not gonna lie. It, it definitely has is its enormous uses. And I'm gonna be making a and I'm gonna be making a real, real solid deck around the uh uh broker's ascendancy soon soon ish. It's gonna be pretty amazing. So we're gonna see how that goes. And I definitely see no world where this guy is not rolling with a coma deck. You know, the thing. Uh okay. Not not really a big thing, I guess. Still drawing lands, still still gaining umph. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay, okay. This this is not bad. This is not bad. This is actually pretty good, in fact. Uh, what do I want? Ah, let's just drop the angel, whatever. Wait, are we gonna actually get the HP that I'm looking for here? No. A little bit off. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. I... This must be a coma deck, you know? That That's my prediction. He has no white, so I don't have to worry about... Hello there, Lolt-chan! Nice to see you here! Are you gonna do with every... Oh, oh my. Now here's something you don't see every day. Two righteous Valkyries. This is a hand you usually never get anymore. Remember the good old days when you played, when this card just came out, and the literal- yeah, this is probably bait. But remember the good old days when the game just came- well, not the game, but Righteous Valkyrie just came out, and you made a life gain deck with it, and you were guaranteed one Righteous Valkyrie minimum in the starting hand, and then you usually had two. Ooh, I guess that's useful, uh, I guess that's decent usage of the card. But man, was that not was that not that was that not a special time, boys? Was that not a special time? Cat on purple. Oh, I, I personally think that that was I'm gonna do this because I don't think he has counter spells. And he needs to deal with Righteous Valkyrie because that card is considered a Z Danger Zone. Oh, look at that. Oh by the way, how do you like my Japanese accent? Yeah, this is a Z Danger Zone. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, that's what he did? I guess that's a play? Super questionable, not gonna lie, but I, 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 I guess that's really a play. Okay, in that case, well, I'm gonna do this. He c Honestly, you know what's the bad part? Endless Detour, what the hell is this? The owner of Todd Nonlin, maybe I put it on top of your uh, take action. Sure, yeah, I want that card. So, that's how the card is gonna get and do things. Anyway, I'm drawing two cards. Probably. Oh! Oh my! Is he gonna do a plus one? Oh my god, he's abusing the fact that that thing has vigilance. By the way, there's far too many cards nowadays uh, that have. Things like vigilance and whatnot. It's it's getting a bit much. Hmm. I think that's gonna be enough. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely gaining one more card from this play layer. So not the not the worst case scenario. Come on, attack me! He did. Damn. <laughs> okay, didn't actually think he's gonna do it. Also, why haven't you done anything? You, you, it seems like you're close. Aha. Are you afraid? <gasps> Do I smell fear? Ah, oh, yes. That's... Ha! Huh. Of all things unexpected. By the way, the deck I was talking about. It's not exactly like this, but yeah, he's obviously searching for one very in particular card that everyone knows about. So yeah, it seems like we will have to do a couple of bad things 
Well, not bad things per se, but I kind of must do this. Well, must do this is a posh word I would like to say. Wait, that's just a legit exchange. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, that's just a legit ex Why? Are you wiping the board or something? Didn't understand what's currently going on, but that's okay. Huh. But yeah, I I think sim uh I think brokers ascendancy can have uh, can create the probably most amazing deck, and you don't even need to uh need to have it be a plane. What? Oh no! Okay, that's really annoying. But you know, uh, on the other hand, I don't think that's gonna do a lot. Oh, that's actually gonna do a lot now. Shimata. Okay, can you stop, please? Thank you. I'm gonna draw a lot of cards. I, I'm not sure if this... Wow, that's that's a lot of nothing. Wow, that's, that's really a lot of nothing. Hmm. Well, I am gonna... Um, maybe I should have actually... No, 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 no. No regrets. Only dreams and a lot of memes. Okay, this is good enough. So, first things first. We're ditching, we're ditching that. It's it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. He actually just let it slide. Oh, because he wants more protection. I'm not sure. If he wipes the board, I am gonna cry in the corner. I call it my crying corner. It's amazing. It has everything to to do with crying. Okay, yeah, he's wiping the board clean. I will be pretty mad. If it's the thing that exiles everything that we love and possess. My microphone fell, excuse me. Okay, it's back. T tell me, uh, sh show me an example of uh, Arena not wanting you to win without uh, showing me an example of Arena not wanting you to win. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it real good. Yeah. And he got it. Because, oh, wait, is he using that to just get an easier time for... I guess he could. I haven't used this, but... I guess it's reasonable. Farewell was gonna be uh, potentially a good brat to use, but I think obviously the uh, the broker's ascendancy is stronger. Oh look at that! As expected, fifty percent land draw ratio. Okay, I'm gonna concede because they, they, this, this everyone knows what this is. You know what's the most insane part about all this? I see a hand like this, two Luminar Casperants, something usually people drool about, and I see nothing but bait. And I'll take this bait, because, you know, honestly, if this doesn't work out, what will ever work out anyway? Ooh. Well, that's Ragdos Sacrifice 100. <clears throat> that means that I need to bu- wait a minute. No, wait, that's not, that's not the colors of Ragdos Sacrifice. It has something blue inside of it, this guy. Ooh! No. No. Not Arcane Bombardment. No, 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 that, that's just evil. That's just evil, McNeevil. Okay, uh, what what am I supposed to do against this? There's no, there's nothing I can do against Arcane Bombardment. Okay, go full throttle, boys, full throttle. There is a chance I out aggro him because he probably doesn't have anything that. Well, no, he has black in it, so. Yeah, that's Arcane Bombardment in a nutshell for you. Okay, goes first. Prismari command instantaneous. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Absolutely no shot. Watch this. He plays a land, he just drops Arcane Bombardment and doesn't even think twice about it. Okay, that's that's a very long thing you have there, Chief. Well, what are you doing? Come on. Do something! Oh, yeah, that's also legit, I think. 
Um, admittedly, kind of irrelevant to a degree. Might as well drop this. It, it's either he has it or he hasn't. Like, there's, there's no difference do I drop the book or don't at this point. So, yeah. Oh, wow, this is a lot of nothing. I'm enjoying my... I'm enjoying my 25% land draw ratio, wizards, by the way. A 10 out of 10 banger, if I do say so myself. At least he didn't have it in hand, but... He is kind of controlling the absolute living daylight savings out of us. So that, that does seem to be a little bit of a problem. Play with fire, jeez louise, what is this garbage dumpster fire? Why does he have black if he's gonna use play with fire? That's my real question, though. It seems a little bit nonsensical, if you think about it, but it should be fine, right? Come on! Do something! Make, make daddy happy. Oh, that's right, you can't, loser. But that's fine. No, that's actually not... Hello, dude? Uh, sure, you know what? Shh, I have no idea what's happening anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, did this work on tokens? Exile up to target non-land non-token. Great, this is a token. Okay, that kind of puts a wrench in what we're doing. But the Luminous Phantom doesn't. But yeah, honestly, you know, maybe we didn't get Arcane Bombardment on curve. As, you know, all things, as you should, by the way. But, at the end of the day, it's not looking exactly like we're not gonna get Arcane Bombardment anytime soon. It looks like that that's gonna be our future very soon. We're, we're drawing everything in the least non-aggressive combo possible. Big score. Okay, cool. But you get it now, because I'm honestly kind of tired of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I am, because it makes no sense. I don't know why he has black, though. Consider. Wait, are you telling me I have a shot? As long as he doesn't exile... Uh... Boarding down the house, and... Well, no, there's still no shot that that happens. Okay, I'm gonna go full throttle, though. There's, there's nothing else to do. It's either I do that or I do nothing and just, you know, sit and wallop in my own misery. Oh! I didn't activate the, uh, the minister, uh, minister. That was a mistake. I would have gotten a pretty sweet token. But then again, yeah, I'm kind of not a believer at the moment. Kind of not a believer. Hmm. Maybe the cat's not on purple. That's why we're, that's why we're losing. Because I can't call this a win. We're supposed to be an aggro deck, and yeah, I don't see the aggro part happening decently, you know? And that that kind of that that's that's kinda not a good thing, right? That's kinda not a good thing. What is he even thinking about? Hello? Okay, yeah, sure. Magnus opus me for infinity. Well, that's not infinity, but close enough. Yeah, that's that's very close to infinity. Oh, look at that. Cigar the Splendor when it doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, that's, prob that's probably a laughing matter. Okay, I'm legit just waiting until this, uh, this loser draws Bombardment. Because he's not... Do you really not have anything better to do? It's, this, this is like... I, I'm, ask, ask, I'm asking serious. There's no way I can win. My draws have been absolutely 100... Uh, terrible. And you have absolutely destroyed everything I want. I have. Is this just like some kind of long con type of deal? Is his win condition not Arcane Apartment? He has the opuses. He has the everything. This should be 100%. Dude, it's 20 cards deep. Haunted, ha hunt for specimens. Okay. Okay. And mascot exhibition. 
That cannot be the reason why he has black in his deck. That... <clears throat> That literally cannot be the reason why he has black in his deck. I refuse to believe something so dumb. Anyway, drop a land, drop this, why not? <laughs> it makes so little difference at the moment. And yeah. How is this guy so bad at the game? 20 cards deep, does he... I... <laughs> <clears throat> there should be not a world where he doesn't have arcane bombardment, right? <clears throat> there should just not be a world where that happens. Mascot exhibition as expected, but nothing else. Highly unimpressed. Are we gonna draw a land? I think this is about the time we get to the 50% land draw ratio. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the, like that. Again, we have... Uh, our, our, the cards that we have drawn have been immaculately the worst RNG possible. It's like, there's no... It's hard to imagine that we're drawing cards with that have absolutely no synergy with the one, uh, one, uh, one amongst other. And, you know, that the, he can just deal with them instantaneously. There was a world where we could have actually won because he only has direct damage. But instead, we drew everything in a way that doesn't do anything. And yeah, the 50% land draw ratio is kind of expected because mm, that's the easy way out. Okay, so, by the way, we're probably not drawing another land, that would be too much. And he's taking it super slow. Uh, Wizards, are you just feeding me to people who can... Oh, wow, a card that literally has no value. Who would have expected? Wizards, are you... Is this, like, the worst player on Arena? Because it looks like it. It honestly looks like it. We're a sacrifice to the worst player on the arena. Because his deck has black in it just because he wants hunt for specimens. Absolutely amazing. Oh, oh, he, here he has decided it's finally time to attack with two elementals. I. <laughs> Oh, oh, he, he won, boys. 